You know, I'm always on the lookout. Always. My life is 95% about immigration. So I'm always looking at things, research, talking to people. I know some of us struggle with Canadian immigration rules and requirements. We are thinking about America. There are also rules and requirements. You know, rules are everywhere. But we try. We try to navigate them nevertheless. But again, this particular country, you can buy your citizenship. Huh? And move in the country within 30 days. Are you kidding me? Hello everybody, welcome back to Accord TV and if you're checking in for the very first time, it's your mama Accord and yes, yes, I am the immigration queen. <laughs> Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our content. Now in today's video, like I mentioned when I was starting this video, this particular one, this one, that 95% of my life is on immigration, above immigration, in immigration, and everything immigration, okay? So I came across this country. You can actually buy your citizenship in this country and move in 30 days. And I'm not even kidding you, I, I'm very serious. And listen to this, listen to this. If you buy your citizenship, and guess what? Let me tell you this. If you're a citizen, then you can travel to more than a hundred countries visa free including uk switzerland ireland and among others you will live a tax-free life yes tax-free life no tax once you buy your citizenship and then you're a citizen you become a citizen for life if you make a mistake you commit a simple crime you know sometimes you commit crime without even having the intention you just wake up in the morning and then oops you actually committed a crime if something like that should happen to you god forbid then they just punish you you know here there here there but you remain a citizen for the rest of your happy life and if you're a citizen it means that even your family members become citizen how about that how about that you will have your privacy together with your family in a small tiny country imagine that's really cool cool as a citizen you will have dual citizenship benefits okay you are allowed to be a nigerian and this country you're also allowed to be a ugandan and this country you know dual citizenship is actually allowed and need i mention that there are two ways that you can gain your citizenship in this country number one by just making a contribution and number two by investing in a real estate of your choice i'm talking about house an apartment a bungalow or something like that processing time is between one and three months so really in one month you could be in this country together with your entire family and not forgetting the freedom of movement you're going to have imagine having the privilege of traveling to this nice nice country over a hundred of them no visa requirement you you just get into a plane and you go you get into a plane and you go isn't that amazing so the country i'm actually talking about is st kitts and nevis st kitts and nevis passport is very well regarded and has an excellent reputation and relatively few passports have been issued because people don't know about kids people just don't know about kids and how easy it is for you to be a citizen in this country people just don't know this is actually the cheapest country Huh? to gain your citizenship into. So if you're someone, you're thinking Canada, you're thinking America, you're thinking you can as well just move to Kits and Nevis. Okay, right? And then while you are there, it's going to be actually easier to navigate your path to Canada, America, and everywhere else. So if you can, if you're in a position and you are able, just go for it. So what we are saying, for you to become a citizen in St. Kitts, then there are two options. You either buy an investment or you make a donation. And take note of this. Kids and Nevi Citizenship Program is operational and running and has not been affected with this thing of all oh, pandemic, all oh, pandemic. This program is running as usual. And so when you apply, when you do everything that is expected of you, then within three months, one month to three months, you should be in the country. So one thing you have to take note about this country is you cannot just make applications from wherever, whatever. There are special dedicated agents, huh? special dedicated agents who are allowed to make the filing on behalf of the country. Okay, so please don't go, hey, mama, I got, I got an agent. No, 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 no. You, for this specific country, there are agents special agents who are allowed to do the filing on behalf of people who are planning to move to kids okay if at all you're interested huh and just so i know how you guys are feeling 
comment down below and say something like we want to know about the agents then of course i'll give you all the details I'll, I'll just go and make a quick video and give you the list of all the legitimate agents that you can use for your relocation to this beautiful country called the cities so you can get the application forms from the agents or from the citizenship office only so this is a process you cannot go through by yourself individually no even me i cannot process this for you they are very specific they have their agents which can successfully be used for your immigration purposes to the kids okay so i cannot do it any other agent cannot do it besides the ones who are dedicated for this country and if you are the main applicant you are allowed to add your brother and your sisters your siblings in other words add them on your application form and then you move together with them i mean how amazing is that many countries including canada america and all these places they'll just say mm -mm. if you're coming to our country we only recognize your wife or your husband and your children and your parents but this country is saying you can bring your parents you can bring your sisters and brothers you can bring your spouse and you can bring your you know how amazing so the only rule is if you're bringing in your sister or your brother they should be 30 years and below and they should not be having any children okay and they should be single yes and again the country is generous enough they're saying oh because of COVID, because of the pandemic we're going to reduce your cost by forty-five thousand dollars so now your sgf contribution is just going to be hundred and fifty thousand dollars the american dollars but if you are four people and above then your cost your contribution is going to be from a hundred and ninety five thousand dollars so you pay that amount and you you get you you become a citizen <laughs> you become a citizen just by contributing Kids passport is very very powerful with this one passport you can navigate uk you can navigate ireland you can explore all the Schengen states you know you can go to so many places so if you're feeling this why not just go for it and so just like any other country you'll have to go for biometrics and they do not require oaths from the applicants if you are taking the real estate direction option like you want to become a citizen by buying a real estate buying a house then it's going to cost you two hundred thousand dollars per person so if you are the two of you then you pay four hundred dollars and that takes your wife and yourself okay the two of you so that will be four hundred thousand dollars you make an investment you buy your own property you choose wherever you want to get that property from you make your purchase but the thing is once you buy a house in St. Kitts. Once you buy a house, you're supposed to keep that house for a minimum of seven years before you are allowed to sell it. So buy a house. When you're buying that house, make sure you go for something that you like. If it's an apartment, take your time and research and work with agents and just make sure and buy a property that you'd love to live in for at least seven years. Because once you purchase it, you are not allowed to sell it until the seven years mark elapses and again if you're choosing the contribution way they actually call it sustainable growth fund it's also fairly affordable i'm not saying it's super super cheap but it's fairly affordable you know as africans you have this community thing still with us so we can talk to friends family and just come together and we make a collection we send one family then when one family is in skates again you go back to the same community and you raise funds to support another family if we can do that i think asians asians are very good at supporting each other okay so that's what i'm saying support one family move support another family move and when you move don't forget about the people that you left behind okay so the pathway of uh, donating giving the funds is gonna cost you a hundred and fifty thousand dollars for one person i think i'd mentioned this but then if you are four people and above your charges is going to start from a hundred and ninety five thousand dollars and above please note that once you make your donation of a hundred and fifty thousand dollars that donation is an unrefundable amount and so very quickly let's talk about how you can make your application the first thing you need to do is to prepare your documents like for example the police clearance certificate your cv or resume in other words your birth certificate and your passports put all the documents together then the second thing you need to submit the file to ciu through only an authorized agent by paying only due diligence fees and of course 50 percent lawyer fees i think i mentioned earlier that if you want to know the list of the lawyers who are allowed to process your stuff then comment down below and let me know next thing you need to wait for the government approval letter once you're approved pay for the remaining investment fees or 
uh, what are we calling it? Pay for the remaining contribution fees. If you are not approved, then you don't need to make that payment. But I tell you, you're going to be approved in Jesus' name, inshallah. Then finally, collect your passport and your certificate of citizenship at the nearest St. Kitts offices, the consulate, I mean the embassy. But most importantly, most importantly, point to note, not everyone is allowed to move to St. Kitts, not everyone. So if you're from these countries, Iran, Afghanistan, North Korea, Cuba, you are not allowed to apply to immigrate to St. Kitts, unfortunately. Well, now you know through your mama that of course you can immigrate to St. Kitts, huh? And all you need to do is just buy your citizenship. How do you buy your citizenship? You just, you know, you contribute to some fund or buy a real estate of your choice. But remember that if you buy a real estate, then you're supposed to keep that house, bungalow, apartment, whatever it is, for at least seven years before you're allowed to sell it. But all in all, what you're saying is <laughs> it's very exciting that you can actually move to a country by just buying your citizenship. But if you're a criminal, you're going to have problems because even kids as a country, they're taking their time to check and judge who they're bringing into the country. But again, they normally do it here. And without forgetting, you're keeping it positive vibes only. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.